a lot of these celebrities you see, athletes, entertainers, anybody, a lot of them sold their soul to get where they were at. And you may have heard this before, but the selling of the soul is typically the selling of your life force in order to get material wealth or material objects. It's, it's a way of tainting your spirit. So you could, so the people that you sold your soul to have some dirt on you. They taint you. So if you ever wake up and try to free others or get out of line, they have some dirt on you or they have a member, a close one to you held hostage. When you sell your soul, there's a sacrifice that has to be made. And I'm not just saying a sacrifice like how you're a business person, you have to sacrifice time with your family. I'm talking about a real actual sacrifice. This could be a blood sacrifice. This could be a blood sacrifice from, you know, sacrificing your close one, a parent, a child, a best friend, someone that you hold close to your heart. You sacrifice them for material gain. Another way is a humiliation technique where they may put a straight man in a dress or they may, they may make a straight man engage in homosexuality. He may have to touch his toes and do something for that deal. And I know about, I know about this because when I was doing, when I was more serious into the modeling, I worked with some men who knew men that were on the billboards. You may know them too. That he sold his body to get to where he's at. And it's not always someone that's older than you. It could be someone that's working underneath someone who could be the same age as you. And they do show favoritism for those who obey, for those who stay in check those who stay in check are those who sell their people out or do things that they secretly don't like themselves that you know when they get home they probably cried out or they don't feel good about themselves they get more deals they get more promotion they get more attention and they get more money because they make not only are they serving their masters but they're well they're well behaved slave so also another humiliation technique, football player, ex-football player, Ricky Williams. He changed his length, he changed his last name to his wife's last name. And he was also on the cover of Sports Illustrated in a wedding gown with a white man. So you could see the visual buck breaking right there. Other celebrities like Kid Cudi, wearing a dress holding a white man's hand. You could argue that they're expressing themselves. Typical basic argument. But let's look past the surface here. Let's look with the third eye. Do you think he would still be expressing himself in that format if he wasn't Kid Cudi? Or is this a job that he took upon himself? Yay! And their interview just said his mom was a sacrifice. Bill, a lot of people in Hollywood end up missing. Is this coincidence? Bill Cosby had a son that died. If you didn't see that, look that up. This, ha this released like yesterday or two days ago. Yay yeah, say his mom was a sacrifice. So if you think that there's not a hidden hand. Well, it's not so hidden anymore, but lack of a better term, if you don't think there's a hidden hand, you're sleeping. You're doing their job. And once you sell your soul, it is difficult to get back. It's basically the process of trading your spirit in order for material gain. You're doing something against your spirit and you know what's against your spirit. We all have that line where we say, nah, I'm not doing that. But you went over the line. 
just for material gain, just for fame. You know, you sacrifice someone else to get where you want it to be. And this is dangerous because they want you to teach, they want you to believe that all these yachts, these mansions, these cars, these women, this is more valuable than your soul. But in reality, your soul is worth more than diamonds and gold. That's why they, it's such a fight for you, for, for them to keep you out of your energy. It's such a fight for them to keep you unfocused. They pay millions of dollars to keep you away from your true self. They put the alcohol on them in the hood. They put the triggering emotional events on TV and only show that. They flood your mind with fear through the news, fake news, and they want you to think so low of yourself where the only way to be, be successful is if you hold hands with them, for you to blood sacrifice, for you to be humiliated, for you to be just un in, like not independent. They don't want you to be independent. They want you to be reliant, dependent on the system. They want you to be a well-behaved slave so you can get that check they're going to cut you. They don't want you to talk about the real stuff that's going on in the world. So all of these people they're trying to cancel, you have to be mindful of why they're trying to cancel them. Why are they trying to silence their voice, their voice and put a muzzle over their mouth? A lot of people who they try to silence, they're not scared of a man because he's going to lie. They're scared of what he might say. Because if he was lying, if they were lying, they wouldn't be so hard on them for a reason. They would have just they wouldn't take it serious. They would laugh it off. They would like misinformation, but everything is done for a reason. And this is all seen throughout Hollywood, even the baby. The baby kind of came out of nowhere. He got all these accolades in one year. And then he posted on Instagram, he has all these accolades, but he still doesn't know how his dad died. All of these mysterious deaths, when people get famous, Shensia. This is just off the top. I'm pretty sure there's plenty more who on the rise to fame, on the rise to the top, a lot of their family disappear, passed away, or they start acting in a different way. But we have to live in the era where it's more, it's more valuable for someone to have an independent business. Not because he has 2 million working with the masters and you have like 600,000 you should praise the guy with the 600,000 because he's a free man. He still has his soul and he'll have way more than the guy who sold his soul with the 2 million. Trust and believe because those things they give you are short lived and you, I don't know how long it would take you, but for other people, they have a breaking point where they want to shave your head off, you know, and look at all these symbols, a bird shaves, a bird loses their hair, their fur, when they're in extreme distress. You see a lot of people, a lot of women shaving their heads. Think about what's being not, think about what's not being fed to us and what's being fed to us. The things that free us are seen as disinformation. And the thing that distract us is what they want us to look at. To distract the people, give them bread and the circus, and you will succeed. And that's what all of these celebrities have done. They got distracted by the bread, and now they're part of the circus, and they can't say anything because their neck is in shambles. Their neck is, around, is in a leash. They're not really free. You're just a $40 million slave. So don't have any idols 
and build your own build your own business build your own legacy it may take slower it may be more difficult but there's a shift re going on and realizing that that's the only true way the only true way is to have your own and do it your way that's when you have the ultimate freedom so if you enjoyed this video like share comment subscribe and until next time you guys be well one